everyone, it's Jack from Cultaholic and little Adam Pachiti. How it's are you, Adam? Adam Pachiti, yeah. it's so small. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm all right. I was very poorly this morning. I ate some dodgy pasta. Uh, and I, I've done a Matthew, essentially, and I was up most of the night doing things that I won't talk about on the news. It wasn't pretty. That's a shame. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, in a way. <laughs> no, I'm good, okay. I'm good. Well, we've got more exciting wrestling news to talk about, so let's get straight to the headlines. Splashdown. First of all, Bray Wyatt appears to have taken a bit of a shot at WWE creative on social media. Hmm. Next up, an NXT superstar has got a brand new finisher. And finally, a member of the New Japan roster is apparently considering a move to WWE. More on that in just a bit. So, first of all, Bray Wyatt. He's, um, he's been a bit of a cheeky boy on social media, but just before we reveal what he said, uh, he's not really been on TV much, has he, since WrestleMania? No, various reports were circulating as to, to what the reason is. One of them uh, was that he's been so sort of deeply affected by the passing of Brody Lee um, that he's just not in the best place at the moment. Really? Another was circulating, and I, I don't know how, how, how true these are, that Vince was unimpressed when he had turned up, uh, the sort of the shape he was in. Um, so who knows the exact reason? I just hope he's all right. I hope he's all right. I find him a tr tremendously entertaining guy. Whatever character he's doing, he's so good. So it's yeah, I, I, yeah, I miss seeing him on TV. Yeah, me as well. Um, but he took to social media and said, "Miss me yet?" Yes, Hashtag... I just said that, Bray. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> miss me yet? Hashtag zombies. Mm. Taking a... now is he taking a bit of a shot? A WWE creative there, as many people have inferred from this, or is he trying to claim, is he trying to make this canon? Is he trying to claim control over the zombies and say, oh, it was me? Because I'd really appreciate that if he did, because it oh. it, otherwise it made no sense at all. But I don't think it's that. I think it's more likely to be like a bit of a cheeky jibe. Yeah, it was It was all a bit silly. It's, it's weird how people have sort of these double standards. And I know you and Ross have been talking about this quite a lot, um, sort of the, the zombies and people's reaction to them. Um, but like, it, it's okay for some supernatural ta uh, characters. It's not okay for others. I personally just thought it was a bit of fun. It didn't entertain me tremendously, but I thought, oh, it's all right. It's, it only lasted well. 10 minutes, didn't it? I think it's uh, I think it's actually a sign a signpost pointing towards wider and more deep rooted issues within WWE. But you can read my full thoughts on that on cultaholic.com. That article's just gone up today. Uh, so yeah, Bray Wyatt being a bit of a cheeky boy. Uh, no hints yet as to when or if he's likely to return to the active roster, but I guess we'll just have to keep an eye out. For sure. I, I don't know if you can infer from that tweet that he's maybe teasing a return, the fact that he's maybe ramping up for it. Miss me, I'm coming back. So I don't know. I don't know. No. We'll um, anyway, we'll we'll cross the line briefly to AEW because uh, Double or Nothing's actually very soon. It's not this weekend, but next, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam Driver's birthday weekend as well. And um, thirty. Oh my! Oh, it's terrifying, isn't it? I know. Wow. Well, not for me. I'm thirty-two already. But not for you. Yeah. You're getting there as well, I imagine. Ish, ish. I've still got a little. Still it's been about <laughs> twenty-five years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come on. Um, but yes, Double or Nothing is fast approaching and on this week's episode of AEW Dark, more participants for the Casino Battle Royale were revealed. Uh, there they were already two confirmed, Christian Cage and Matt Seidel. But Adam, who, did, uh, who got added to the match on Dark this week? We have got, and I want to hear your immediate thoughts on, or, or your reaction, the, the likelihood of them winning. So if you can give me the noises again, yep. please, Jack. Uh, we've got 10. Hmm... Powerhouse Hobbs. Mmm. Evil Uno. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Colt Cabana. No. Matt Hart. It's not a noise. That's a word. Do it again. Uh, uh, <laughs> Matt, go on, I'd say. Uh, Matt Hardy. Uh, mm. Isaiah Cassidy. Mmm. Mark Quinn. Mm-mm. Jungle Boy. Mm. Yeah, I, th I think out of those <laughs> lot, because uh, I don't think it's going to be Christian Cage. I think he's going to get last eliminated. That one was so sassy from me. Mmm, <laughs> Jungle Boy. Yeah, I, do you, you don't think it'll be Christian Cage? No, no, I think it's a bit too obvious. I think he'll get eliminated or he'll start a feud or continue a feud or whatever in that, but I don't see it being Christian Cage. Um, I think he'll get there. I don't think he'll ever be AEW champion, but I think he'll be in the main event picture. Just not yet. Between Powerhouse Hobbs and Jungle Boy for me there. I'm going to go, I'm between Jungle Boy and Christian Cage. Oh, I okay, think it could be Christian Cage. They were teasing Omega versus Cage, Christian Cage that is, mm -hmm. fairly recently when Christian first joined. 
and I think they might follow through on that, uh, but maybe not as like a big feature defeat. I can see that main event in Dynamite and being a really, really good match, but I don't I know. know. I don't know. We'll um, see. But we'll find out. The final card will be announced for all of Double or Nothing will be announced on tonight's Dynamite, presumably once Anthony Agogo has continued his rampage. I'm finding him very, very entertaining. He's awesome, isn't say. he? He's yeah, he's so absolutely good. fantastic. England. Um, next up. <laughs> Uh, back to NXT now back to the WWE side of things we're going to talk about NXT because an NXT superstar has got a brand new finisher Adam who is it? We are talking about <clears throat> Tony Storm. She had a match uh, with Zoe Stark. Uh, is a rematch, in fact, from the um, Standard Deliver pre-show. Mm. Um, so she hit Storm Zero, but didn't get the win, didn't get nobody, the pinfall. Nobody but then, kicks out of the Storm Zero. Right, but upgrade, she's got a new finisher, and it's like a spinning driver sort of thing. I don't know how to describe yeah. it. So Sam Driver stepped in. And wrestling expert Sam Driver and said, no, that's just needlessly aggressive from me there. <laughs> needlessly passive aggressive. Sam stepped in and went, it was it looks like a bit of a judo throw. And he was right. It did look like a bit of a judo throw. There was a setup where she kind of swept the leg, lifted Zoe Stark upwards. And then yeah, it was almost I saw it described elsewhere online as like a brain buster almost, because Zoe Stark landed yeah. very, very vertically. But then Lewis, actual former wrestler, Lewis stepped in and said she did she landed safely there, he told us. So it's like a it looks dangerous, but apparently it can't be taken safely. It's like it's a, really cool looking. a trip into a twisting vertical suplex slash brain buster kind of yeah. move. We don't have a name for it yet, but one can only assume it'll be like Eye of the Storm or something. It'll, mm, it'll be something that's, like that. It is gonna be Jack Eye of the Storm. Yeah, it absolutely yeah. I'd be surprised now if you weren't right, if it wasn't okay. called the Eye of the Storm. I'll try and think of an alternative one. Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels, Stormy. yeah. Storm James, in a teacup. The James Storm. <laughs> the James Storm. <laughs> yes. The James Storm. Named after her favourite wrestler and older brother, James Storm. <laughs> uh, and finally, we've got to talk about New Japan Pro Wrestling. No, not finally, sorry, penultimately. We've got to talk about New Japan Pro Wrestling because uh, Fit Finley was speaking recently uh, on the Briscoe and Bradshaw podcast and he was talking about his son David Finlay uh, who of course is a member of the New Japan roster and Finlay said well he's in Japan right now Japan and I guess have had an outbreak, outbreak of COVID so they, they started cancelling shows and he works for New Japan Pro Wrestling it's just he's just right this first part is just him telling his mates what his son's up to oh, he's, <laughs> he's proud really, he's a proud dad yeah Let of course work. he is yeah um he said that a lot of the talent got COVID, so they were sending them home. They went to the airport yesterday, and almost all of them were tested positive for COVID, so they were sent back, so they couldn't leave the country. They were going to do a government hotel, but then they made a deal, and they got put in the dojo. So my son, David, and Jay White are in the dojo, quarantined there for another 10 days or so, which is ridiculous, <laughs> says Finley. <laughs> and by the way, if David Finley and Jay White do, we don't know if they do or don't have COVID, but hopefully they make a speedy recovery, yeah, of course, please. 100%. It's just strange how... How f outraged Finley is about these. Oh, it's ridiculous. This, it's been going on for a year now, Fit. <laughs> we, we know this is what we know this is what happens. Uh, he's put the whole world has just put everything on standstill for a little bit, and we'll get over it. But he's doing well there. He then talked about potential future moves for his son. What did he say then, Adam? Uh, he said, I don't know how New Japan are going to handle this new outbreak, or I just don't know, no one does. But he's a little bit confused at the minute as to what to do next, you know. Is he going to stay in Japan? Does he want to try here, like WWE or Ooh. whatever? But him and I are going to sit down when he does eventually come home and try and figure it out. But he just needs a little bit of wisdom put in his head. Not that I have any. Oh, he's a cheeky scam. So yeah, he's teasing <laughs> that maybe WWE are interested in his services. That It, it sounds like if... If he wants to, from what Fitz saying here, that'd be pretty easy for him to get a WWE gig. He is, of course, one half as well of the Impact Tag Team Champions at the moment. Oh, is that still Finn Juice? Yeah, Finn Juice. Hold, oh, the, hold Finn the gold Juice. there. And it also suggests that maybe he doesn't have too long left on his contract with New Japan. Potentially, yeah. Hmm. Now, it's a strange one because it seems as though this, would, this sort of situation has come about because of COVID, whereas maybe he would never really think about going anywhere else if it wasn't for that. Maybe he would be secure in New Japan. We don't really know. I don't know what his mindset is, but... I'd like to see him in WWE. I, I really like him. I've only seen the tag stuff. You're more of a New Japan guy than I am, that's for sure. But he's he's really impressive from everything that I've seen. Yeah, he's always one that never... I never see him, his name on the card and go, oh, this is going to be good. And then, so, and then so many times he'll totally surprise me. And I should stop being surprised by how good he is. He'll just have an amazing match. I'll think, yes, he is actually. He is actually really good. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, 
Now on to our final story, Eric Bischoff commenting on WWE and AEW. Bischoff, of course, has recently appeared on AEW. Uh, he pops up in the crowd sometimes, doesn't he, to ask a question and introduces himself as E. Bischoff from Wyoming. Uh, and everyone goes, Plug the podcast. Plug the podcast yeah, as much as you can. He does. But then also, of course, he recently got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. So he's been cropping up all over the place. He um, has. And, and that's what this relates to, really. So he was sort of talking about whether AEW, or rather WWE see AEW as competition, um, giving his opinion on Vince McMahon's mindset toward the decision from AEW to run shows essentially before WWE. So they've announced a return to touring before mm-hmm. WWE has. Uh, and he said... I don't think Vince cares. Mm. I know wrestling fans like to think there's this battle between AEW and WWE. I'm not in WWE offices, so I'm going to suggest based on my experience and relationships that I have with the people that are in WWE, the very fact that I made an appearance on AEW a month before they inducted me into the Hall of Fame suggests to me that they really don't care. Are they aware? Sure. Is Vince McMahon walking around kicking people in the ass and saying, God damn it, how did they beat us to the punch? I know people think it's uh, that's the case um, because they want another wrestling war, but it isn't. Um, it's not... A matter, it's not, no matter how much people want to pretend it is, it's cosplay, folks. Wow. What? What does that mean? Uh, WWE is on a different planet than AEW right now. That's because AEW is about 24 months or so old. WWE has been around for decades and decades and decades. A lot of catching up to do, folks. There is no war. There is no angst or anxiety from WWE, in my opinion, when it comes to AEW. Right. Quite a lot of stuff said there. First of all, Bischoff doesn't know what cosplay is or means. I didn't but, understand that either. I'm glad no. that wasn't just me. I think he means that the, the two companies, it's a it's not a war, but it's the situation's masquerading as a wrestling war, but it's actually not one, I oh, okay, guess. Right. That's all I can think he means. But when it's he, not LARPing. When, but when he said... It's not LARPing, no. When he says that, um, that the two sides don't... Or the WWE don't really care about AW, I, I think... Maybe Vince doesn't, because Jericho was on Talk as Jericho, and I really do imagine that Vince doesn't really Austin, pay much attention. Jericho. On Sorry, not on, Jericho was on the Steve Austin mm-hmm. show, of course. Um, uh, but then I think Triple H probably does. That There's been... Triple H really understands modern wrestling, I think, quite well from what we've seen him talk about uh, and in media calls and stuff. He seems to understand the value of indie wrestling, so he tried to sign all of the indie wrestlers. Um and I think that just the shots that have been fired from both sides do seem to imply that they are very much aware of each other. And then NXT moved from Wednesdays to Tuesdays. So I mm-hmm. think I think there is something. I think that people do exaggerate and ramp it up and maybe don't necessarily treat AEW like a company that is about two years old when they possibly Agreed. should. Agreed. But I think that Bischoff there might be too far towards the other end of the argument, maybe. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, WWE as well, uh, with this specific situation, they have a history of wanting to be the first to do stuff. Um, that That's something that has happened before. So I imagine it may have irked a few people that AEW got there first. I don't know. I don't know. But I agree with you, I think. Fair enough. Well, that was the second batch of wrestling news. Adam, have you got anything to... No, you're off soon. I'm off. Yeah, tomorrow's my last day. I've got loads of voiceovers to do. You're streaming on Twitch with a big announcement tonight. Is that right? Whoa, there is an announcement. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's huge. huge. Is this the the thing that you put in the chat with me and Owen before? Yeah. Yeah. Just so I don't accidentally review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So there's going to be Cultaholic FC football shirts on sale. Now, I really, like, this isn't just me, sh- <laughs> this isn't just- I meant you were gonna do the big announcement, it doesn't matter. I oh, meant the big no. announcement. <laughs> oh no, I thought you it's meant announcement the pre-orders now. pre-orders there, they're at coholicshop.com, but the big announcement, it's all right, this, this is gonna go live mere minutes before the stream starts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but yeah, tune in anyway, because it's gonna be a great game of football manager. They're available for pre-order now anyway. Um, Smashed and we're going to be playing a bit of Football Manager. Flash Simultane- a picture up. They're magnificent. They're really, really nice, yeah. Um, and, and simultaneously, uh, I will be watching during the stream my team in real life, Sunderland AFC, and trying not to let that match distract me from the stream. That try and, I'll try and be professional, and I won't be able to. I think that's basically the gist yeah, of this stream. You've nailed the professionalism so far, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's um, so, so you got double reactions and football manager. You, you, you can't ask for more. I know. You can't ask for more. The shirt's online now, cartholicshop.com. You get a free pack of trading cards when you pre-order. Ooh. That sounds like a joke, but it's not. You actually do. Thanks yeah, very do. much for watching this video. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And thank you once again for watching. And we'll see you very, very soon.